Hey guys, welcome to Any Codes Productions. And in this video, basically, I'll be showing you how to get uh, Android 4.0.4 on your Galaxy Note GT and 7000, which is the international variant. Um, so, firstly, what you'd want to do is go ahead and factory reset your phone. So, you can do that by going to settings and uh, privacy uh, here and doing a factory reset there and what you want to do is reset your phone, reset everything and then it should factory reset it so in the meantime while it factory reset I'll talk to you about the steps that you and the equipment you're going to need so basically you're going to need a PC your Galaxy Note your USB to micro USB data syncing and charging cable um, and you're also going to need uh, your Samsung drivers so go ahead and install those uh, via Samsung Kai's if you don't have them uh, for all gingerbread users you can simply go ahead and do the erase uh, how it is uh, from your uh, settings but for all ice cream sandwich 4.0.3 users um, if you have a, the EMMC bug on your phone then you might not want to factory reset it what you can do instead is go ahead and flash your uh, gingerbread via Odin and then go ahead and flash the 4.0.4 uh, MD5 file uh, using Odin again. Here you can see it's almost done factory setting. Just wait for it a couple more seconds. So um, the the flashable Android 4.0.4 uh, MD5 file can be easily got through a website called samfirmware.com. You have to sign up for the download link and you can download it off there. As of now, it's only released for uh, Open Germany, so you'll have to navigate to the German region or European region and download it um, but I'll also provide the link in the description so you can directly go ahead and download it from there um, then what you'd want to do is go ahead and uh, download Odin if you don't have it already um, for me I have placed both these files here so here is my I'll just zoom in there you can see the file that I just downloaded it's a zip file which you're going to want to double click and it will contain these two files right there uh, that there you can see um, it's going to have a md5 dot md5 uh, file and a dot dll file just extract those to a folder I've already extracted it to do this folder here and here you can see the two files have been unextracted there and then what you want to do is go ahead via Odin uh, go open up Odin and this is Odin how it should be uh, and you would want to put your uh, Galaxy Note in download mode you can do that by holding the home button the volume down button and the power button right there so hold those three together and it should go into download mode You have to hold them for a couple of seconds for this to work. It will reboot, just keep holding the buttons down together. Looks like it didn't, but just keep holding them. and there it will give you this uh, message warning you're about to enter download mode just ignore this and press the volume up to continue and then if uh, you've done it right it should show you this downloading and this is the point where you would want to hook up your uh, micro USB cable to your PC and your Galaxy Note so taking my micro USB cable here I'll plug it into my Galaxy Note there it goes in one end and the other end will go into your PC and if you have the drivers correctly installed your uh, box there should turn yellow right there and now what you want to do is go ahead and go to the PDA button right there on your desktop on your uh, Odin and click it and navigate to the folder where you've extracted your Android 4.0.4 MD5 file there it is so double click that 
and it should get selected in your PDA section right there and now uh, you'd want to go ahead and hit start now after it started flashing it will give you this something like this just show you something like this and it will say please wait and it will initialize the flashing process and it will show you something like this over here factoryfs.img and uh, this will take some time it took me about about five to ten minutes so you have to be patient for this to happen uh, in the meantime this is what will show on your galaxy note this is the progress bar and it will move further as the flashing continues so wait for about 10 minutes and I'll pause the video here and be back um, so we're back here and it looks like the installation is almost done and you can see it's almost done here and as well as the progress bar here so uh, just to sum up uh, the steps to it if you're running gingerbread and you're on a stock gingerbread uh, kernel and ROM and you can easily go ahead and factory reset your phone and uh, then go ahead and download the MD5 file from samfirmware.com or the link in the description below uh, unextract the MD5 uh, to a folder on your desktop most preferably then via Odin PDA just select the MD5 file and flash it onto your uh, Galaxy Note but if you're running Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 then you'd first want to downgrade it uh, to Gingerbread via Odin again then factory reset and uh, clear the cache via recovery and then go ahead and flash the 4.0.4 uh, and here it is uh, booting up for the first time after the installation has finished and let's see how it works this will be the first boot after the installation now and everything seems to have gone, gone fine and I am now currently running uh, Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich for the Galaxy Note GTN 7000 so uh, I'll do another video showing you on how this works I'll do a review of the Android 4.0.4 if you're interested uh, in that you might want to subscribe to my channel and this was just showing you how to install it if you have any problems with the installation just go ahead and uh, go to the down the description below and I'll provide in-depth details on how to do the flash uh, down there so thanks guys for watching and Nicole peace out